Hey guys, Chief Meteorologist Wes Sonstein here in the CBS 17 studios, appropriately socially distanced from our newest meteorologist, Melissa Lefevre. Hello. Melissa, nice to have you here. You picked an interesting week to uh, start here at CBS 17 with this severe weather, but Melissa is going to be our weekend morning meteorologist, so she'll be on uh, bright and early. Mm -hmm. uh, most recently, you were in Virginia, but kind of give us, uh, put the uh, dots together for us where you were between now and here. So I was spent the past four and a half years as the morning meteorologist in Lynchburg. Before that, I was helping out a station there in Montgomery, Alabama. So helping out one of my mentors there while they were in transition. And before that, I was not too far down the road. I was spending about a year and a half at the Fox affiliate in Charlotte. In Charlotte, right. And originally you're from uh, Atlanta. Atlanta in the Georgia area. Oh, yes. Which right we'll jump Atlanta. into uh, the sporting scene in a second because that's very important <laughs> to the meteorologists here. But early mornings, I mean, I don't know if everyone at home knows, but I mean, you got to be up at 2 a.m. to be ready to go on air at 5 and 6 a.m. Oh, that's how, right. How does that uh, jive with you? You know, I really like it. I love that morning shift, and I think it's great to be able to wake people up. And I really think with my personality, it gives me that extra. It's almost like a shot of caffeine mm -hmm. to be able to wake people up and, and have that that camaraderie and I think especially the morning crew you grow close and it's really like a family just like our weather team like a family there and um, I just I started on mornings mm -hmm. and never looked back it's definitely I think I'm a morning person okay all right so again you'll see here on weekend mornings starting this weekend uh, you'll make your debut at noon on Friday and of course Excited throughout the that. week you'll be here covering uh, weather stories and news stories for us um, I got to ask you about your last name because, you know, <laughs> with a last name like Hohenstein, I get a lot of questions. Lefevre is mm -hmm. your last name. First time I ever heard it when we met, I thought Brett Favre. Did you, have you gotten that in your life? You know, I have. When I was in high school, one of uh, my teachers there, my APUS teacher, gave me the nickname Lefevre. Lefevre. And knew I was a sports fan uh -huh. and knew I liked football especially, so I was Lefevre as my nickname and again it's French origin but we kind of hail from Smithfield Tennessee uh -huh. so we're definitely southern in our roots. Tennessee's got a mix of everything. A little bit of everything going on <laughs> right. there. Um, you also uh, are familiar with ACC. Oh, this is yes. ACC country. You went to Georgia Tech for your uh, meteorology school mm -hmm. and tell us uh, about your feelings. I won't make you commit <laughs> to any local team because that could be a career suicide <laughs> but tell us about Georgia Tech. Well one of uh, just such an amazing experience. Loved of course just the atmosphere. No pun intended. <laughs> And it was just great all around the sports. And I just love the ACC as a whole. So even being up in Virginia, dealing with the ACC there as mm -hmm, well. To me, yeah. it's if the ACC is doing well, we're doing well. So I like to see any ACC team excel. So to me, I don't, I mean, if they're playing Georgia Tech, I'm going to have a little bit of allegiance. Right. But otherwise, I just like to see any ACC team doing well and go to as many games as possible. I was here back in October for the Duke Georgia Tech game and did a little bit of exploring, kind of wet my whistle here right. for the area. And I'm just excited for when things get to a little bit back to normal. Right. Being able to really dive into all the area has to offer, especially in sports. Yeah, normalcy. That's a whole new uh, thing right now. Um, Georgia Tech, an amazing science, technology, and meteorology school. So we're happy to have her weather expertise. Um, you mentioned sports a few times. You know, the only thing more important than weather to the weather department, mm -hmm. well, there's several things. Food, mm -hmm. our pets, and sports. Yes. Let's talk about your sports allegiance because, you know, that's big around here, mm -hmm. but you've got a lot of a little bit of Atlanta based. A little bit of an Atlanta based, born and raised Braves mm -hmm. fan. I've been going to baseball games since I was four. So oh. Chipper Jones is my player. Yeah. I had a little dance when he would come up to bat when I was a kid. Um, the little chipper dance I did. And we won't make you do that. I now. won't do it here, but uh, maybe <laughs> later down the road okay. once once we've established. No, and so the Braves, of course, again the Hawks, mm -hmm. uh, even the Thrashers when they were there, right. and the Falcons are my team. Um, but again, it's the same kind of thing for me. I just like to see any team in our division do well. So as long as even the Panthers aren't playing the Falcons, right. I root for the Panthers. Well, I even we, have a Panthers jersey at home. True story. That'll be an interesting <laughs> rivalry because, you know, you're Braves, mm -hmm. I'm Cardinals, uh, Bill Ray is Cubs, uh, Brian Hutton Jr. has a Miami Dolphins allegiance. We still haven't so. figured that out. <laughs> um, Laura Smith uh, is a Gamecock. She went to South Carolina. So uh, sports is always uh, very important to us when the weather is calm enough. Also very important to us are oh. animals. This is your little four-legged friend. Yes. Tell us about Humphrey Bogart. Humphrey Bogart, big name, small dog, right. about five and a half pounds, but a very big personality. So when I picked him up as the day I took him home, mm -hmm. uh, the gentleman said, he has a personality. And I just thought, oh, it was my, he's my first dog ever. So I just figured, oh, it's, he's just, uh, you know, going to run around and stuff. Mm -hmm. he's, he's so great. Very protective. And I always say when he barks at people, that just means he's saying hello. 
He's just protective of mom. But yeah, this was us. There's I live near uh, Kennesaw Mountain back home, my mm -hmm. parents' house. We like to take him up the mountain and just love to be outside, which is great. I mean, for this area, it's so yeah. beautiful. So we're looking forward to taking and some long walks. This is a mutt, some kind of mix. I mean, he he's looks like Yorkie. he's got a, it's, He's purebred Yorkie. Wow. I've never seen a Yorkie with legs that long. We he used to have a very, Yorkie and short legs. Well, when I got him, his legs were about this long, uh -huh. so he hopped. He couldn't run. Uh -huh. And now he's like tripled in size. Um, so he runs, jumps, broke his leg actually last fall jumping off the oh, couch. Um, so he's a little, he's got a lot of energy, even yeah. going on six. He's still full of energy. Awesome. Humphrey Bogart. Humphrey Bogart. Um, how can people find you on social media? You know, she'll start this weekend on TV, but uh, you're on social media all over the place. That's right. So Twitter, at Lefevre WX. Facebook, it's at Melissa Lefevre WX. You see a theme here. And then my Instagram is Lefevre Weather. Okay. There you go. And I get this question all the time, so I'll finish uh, you with this. You know, what is your favorite type of weather? People, do you like the tornadoes and hurricanes? What do you, what gets your juices going? To enjoy, I love just sunshine, nice, pleasant day. Mm -hmm. Love to be outside. So that's really my thing there. My family and I, we love just enjoying sunrises, sunsets. Forecasting, being in North Carolina, especially then my years in Virginia, mm -hmm. I've really grown to appreciate forecasting winter weather. Um, I think in the South, it's not something we get a lot of. Right. When we do, it shuts the city down. Yep. But I think just the complexities of it, and especially if you're talking a mixed precipitation event, I think it's just really become something that I've learned to respect and, and really take the forecast seriously. And I think it's one of those things of winter weather. Most people can still get out and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. So to me, that's kind of something I've really grown to appreciate and um, enjoying all four seasons. So I, I enjoy yeah, it all. Great for that. You know, we didn't really have a winter this time around. We had two and a half inches yeah. of snow and kind of one event. So we'll see. Uh, what the rest of the spring and summer holds. The rest of this week involves Melissa making her debut on CBS 17 this morning, Saturday and Sunday morning. Of course, you can also catch her at noon this Friday. Melissa, welcome. Happy to have you. Thank and you. Humphrey. And Humphrey. We're thrilled to be a part of the team. All right, guys.